Okay I don't know if The video setting is okay or not Aku rasa tu sengit Just update Yeah I scared drop I really scared drop Yeah it's going to drop It is going to drop If I put it like this Okay, I guess So, camera is on Everything is good So <laughs> Let's go Bismillah Hoi, hoi, hoi Pagi semua Tengah hari, petang <laughs> Anyway Okay, so today this is a video of uh, uh, what do you call this? Okay, this is a video on board with the Rocks 2.0. Just uh, want to see either is is it they have the same feel as the 2 1.0 or not? So this is the first try with this helmet. Hopefully, uh, I'm going to give you guys my take on the. Rocks 2.0 helmet So I'm wearing an M Previously I'm wearing an L Yeah uh, A bit different uh, The sizing It felt I don't know This one fit Very well with me But I felt like There's a bit of pressure On the top I think maybe the shelf Became a bit more smaller But all other things good. I mean, the pads. Yeah, but just the top shell. There's a bit of pressure, I think. Hmm. I think, yeah, there's a bit of a pressure. Uh, so, okay. Uh, this is the Rox 2.0. Uh, let me see. Let me just say this. I had a uh, I had the Rocks 1.0 since I think almost a year. I've been using it like almost every day. Oh, first thing that I noticed is that the wind noise is very less here. It's really, really very less. Literally, is it moving? Yeah, I don't, I don't feel much noise, wind noise in here. There is much more, more, less wind noise. Really, I'm not wearing any earplug. I just want to feel how the ammo is. Ah, very less wind noise. Very good improvement. I like that. So yeah. I had the 1.0 since like uh, almost a year I've been riding with it for almost like uh, 40,000 kilometers around there Or more 30 I think Or is it? <coughs> so the 1.0 got uh, Got a lot of issues I guess There is too much noise, too much wind noise uh, The pad wasn't, doesn't feel that good and the visor, it doesn't lock into places But this, uh, it have some three stages of locking mechanism But it's missing one, yeah there And the 1.0 had some, it feel like quality issue I guess For me it is, it's kind of like quality issue wind noise here carbon fiber uh, less noise protection meaning I can hear outside more the visual the visual point of view I mean 
what you see is very wide you can like yeah it's good so it's almost the same as the 1.0 the shelf I feel like the shelf shrunk a bit uh, maybe because of the sizing I choose the M size so because when I wear the 1.0 L size, it feel it feel nice. First time I wear it, but after time goes, uh, it become a bit loose, just a bit loose. But yeah, so that's why the 2.0 I choose the M size. Okay, an update. It seems that the Rock Atlas 2.0 uh, M size it doesn't fit me. I have tried it. I have tried for like 200 kilometers and it gives a bit of pressure it gives a pressure on my top of my head so I'm giving uh, so the helmet I'll give to my girl which is this you guys see the video? yeah so I'm not sure if I can update you guys on the tan wear of the helmet but well it is what it is <laughs> so continue to the video so see if it's in time you will become a bit more loose then it fit me way better and the padding for the 1.0 uh, for the 2.0 i think i guess it's okay so okay uh, for the major issue of the 1.0 it was really was the wind noise it's really bad for me because i'm using i ride my bike uh, daily commute around 160 kilometers a day so and most of the commute is on the highway so I'll be riding like 120 kilometers an hour or more so the wind always came from the front this van and this van and my this part so they have I think for the 2.0 they have like closed this van and this van and they have uh, changed the liner this pad become a bit more bigger and it, it cover more the space there so there's no room for wind to come in uh, and then uh, the visor they changed the mechanism and yeah, yeah, but still I think uh, they are missing somewhere around here I wanted something there <laughs> but yeah there's nothing but oh well at least uh, I'm not sure if it's better than 1.0 but yeah um, it's a different feel it's a, it's a different feel it's workable yeah. yeah so other than that it's lighter yeah yeah that's Rurox is uh, it's a really light helmet so yeah you can expect from that noise level quite loud <laughs> maybe because of my bike it's just too loud so I can hear the exhaust like uh, and then it's carbon fiber so very lack of noise protection other than that the looks is nice rocks never fail on the look I love the design I love the the shape, the graphic is really nice. One of the best helmets for me. And the quality, we go to the quality. At first, uh, when I touch the liner padding, it feel a bit cheap. It isn't the uh, RI quality or Shoei or even AGV quality of padding. Uh, I have a K3 SV, which is, uh, I think, it's a beginner beginner helmets and it's price point about 250 USD 200 USD so compared to this and that padding I think the k 3 sp got a better feel so yeah I, I hope that Rurox will improve the padding for the next version <coughs> improve the quality of the padding and the button I mean the one uh, the one that locked the padding with the helmet uh, I think they can do better because of the first version the version 1.0 the padding the liner it felt really cheap it, it, it's not really cheap just felt cheap 
and uh, they uh, they use velcro to connect the padding and the helmet shell so my velcro fell off I don't know this one how it go but time in time I'll get, uh, if anything happened I'll just update you guys on it so this is just a first try first test and it's very fucking noisy <laughs> I should have wear my earplug I can't expect much because uh, carbon fiber Carbon fiber doesn't insulate noise so good, I guess. Um, okay, for price, this helmet, this version, which is the L Diablo, I think it's about 495 USD. I felt that it's a bit stiff uh, due to the, uh, I think, the quality and the price uh, doesn't match well, I guess. Hey, if it's a 300 USD helmet, that would be a great deal. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's uh, based on you guys. If you guys really love the helmet, then it's worth the money. <coughs> so, if I have uh, a bit more money lying around, so I might buy this. But I will update on that uh, in time. After I use this helmet for a while, then I can give a like full review or something. It's just like a first impression. So the visor, they change this mechanism, but you feel that the the thickness of the visor they change a bit because maybe because of the pin lock. And I didn't get any pin lock, so I can't review on that. It says that the this uh, visor is uh, anti fog, but uh, no, I don't think it's anti fog. It will be fogging. Yeah. So. Is it worth it worth to buy a Rurox now in Malaysia? So for a Malaysian, if you want to buy a Rurox, we need to ship it from US, UK to Malaysia and we will get taxes. So that's a bit troublesome for us. I don't know, if you guys really love it, you guys can get it. You can, there's, do, there's a, always a way to get it. Just need to... There's a car there. Just need to handle all the JPJ stuff and the taxes. I wish that Rurok will have like a retail branch at Malaysia so that we don't have to handle with the authority and the taxes and all. I wish to get somebody here to be the distributor. But yeah. Formation uh, is it worth it? If you guys really love this helmet, really love the design, then it's worth the money. But for me, um, I might not get this helmet again. Another thing, you guys have to know that it's a carbon fiber, so the noise, <coughs> the noise will be very loud. Yeah, it's, it is loud. Uh, later, I'm going to put in an earplug because I can't handle this loudness. Uh, the no, the wind sound. It's way better than the 1.0 It has very less wind sound now Compared to version 1.0 yeah. this It has very less wind sound now I really love it And you don't feel much wind coming to your face And I also close the front uh, curtain here So yeah Cool So I think that's it for today Hey, it's kind of like my impression of the Rurox helmet So yeah <laughs> uh, Build quality uh, There's a bit of uh, QAQC issue But it's just a minor stuff uh, The padding is uh, okay for now But the material that they use is a bit Not up to the standard it should have been uh, Pricing uh, is based on uh, Based on you guys How to get it in Malaysia is a bit hard for us Hey Rock just come on Keep put a retail or something in Malaysia so we, it's easy to access the helmet And the design is awesome I love the design, I will give 10 out of 10 for the design Oh shit police So that's a roadblock
Okay. Oh, lepas tu. <laughs> okay. Get back to the video. Just now, what I was talking about. The design, the quality, the price. Um, yeah, Rurox, please. Just make a distributor or something. Retail Malaysia. So, it's easy for us to get it. That's the that's the main major plot. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's all for today. But for me, if you guys really love the helmet, then you guys should just get it. Just that I have to remember regarding the tax. Yeah. So maybe next I'll do another video regarding this helmet after long term use. The Rurox one. For the Rurox 1.0, um, there's too many flaws on it. So if you guys want to buy a Rurox, take this, the 2.0. It's very, very better. So that's it for today. Like always, <laughs> comment, like, and subscribe. Bye!